Hi, Sakshi. Hi, Shashi. How are you? I'm doing great. Good evening. How are you? I am good. Thanks for asking. How's the weather there? Rainy, rainy Bangalore. Okay. Unpredictable. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's almost seven. Shall we start? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, hi everyone. My name is Sakshi and uh, today we have my colleagues Shashi and we are going to discuss about <clears throat> five, <laughs> sorry, five things to keep in mind while filing the Canadian visa. So the process, to, uh, the process of Canadian visa is pretty simple. You just have to provide uh, required documents in a, a specified format. You will need to uh, provide a letter of acceptance from a designated Canadian institute, maybe offer letter. Yeah. So now let's review some of the important documents that you need to gather before filing the visa. Okay. So the most important one is the uh, SOP here. SOP stands for Statement of Purpose. It is also known as Personal Statement or uh, Letter of Explanation, etc. It is very difficult. Uh, I mean, it is very different from the one you write during the admission process. I mean, in the admission process, SOP, you will be mentioning why are you planning to choose this university and why do you want to uh, pursue this course? Uh, what's your academic journey, etc. But in this SOP, you have to provide a strong reasoning why you have chosen this particular program at uh, this particular university and why you have chosen th that particular country for your further studies and what value that particular chosen program will add to your professional uh, career path. Right. The cost payable, you also uh, need to mention why the cost payable is justified and uh, the visa co uh, co uh, consulate officer might also need to know uh, what uh, what are your vision i mean what is your vision what are your plans after completion of that study very well said uh, sakshi it's absolutely important to put out your best thoughts here i would say um for a canadian visa it is not in person it's online so this is one document which kind of explains like you know who you are what your background is why you want to go and uh, what kind of program so I think it's very, very important to create an absolutely um, good explanation to say why you want to go. Otherwise, they don't find it really convincing, like why you want to go there. I mean, there's no other way that you can meet them to explain. So I think um, statement of purpose is very, very important. And most of the time, uh, students kind of confuse it with admissions uh, SOP, as you said. They start writing, oh, I, I, I have this interest in electronics from my childhood and then start writing it, right? So for the consulate, it really does not matter. So that's mostly for the admission officer. For the consulate, all that they want to know is, do you have funds? Do you have language skills? Uh, do you have it in you? Is your course related? And uh, also, is your course uh, justified? And is the program good enough? Is the program not available in India? There's so many questions that you may have to answer here. Again, one of the very important things here, Sakshi, here is um, it should not be like too lengthy. We are not going to write a thesis like, say, five pages, six pages. You know, people don't have time. I mean, consulates don't have time to look at that. So a brief, crisp, short, concise, I think that would really be important. And again, no wordiness, you know, like, like writing in very flowery language and all does not help. So personally feeling, I think the students should themselves give a try because they are the best person for themselves. They're the best spokesperson. So if they really kind of you know, make it up and if their intent is uh, sincere, genuine, I think that would really help. So I think that's very well said. Uh, this is one of the key documents. But even before we write the SOP, I think one of the other important thing is to create your profile. So you create a profile with the Government of Canada official website. It's called uh, GC login, GC login. Here in this profile, uh, it'll ask you like some security questions like, you know, what's your pet's name? Like, you know, most memorable person and all those kind of uh, questions. And uh, please remember to save it because this particular website is where you're going to upload your application form. You're going to upload your family information. You're going to upload your temporary residence form. In addition, all the supporting documents that you need, that you need to file for your visa. So this is one portal that you might have to look into time and again, even to get a visa uh, status approval or denial. 
everything can be viewed right in this portal. So it's very, very important that you take time and uh, create a right profile. And I think it's very important, Sakshi, to, what do you say, be honest. I think honesty takes a long way and uh, putting honest information there helps. And uh, one thing to remember is this uh, profile is going to be with the consulate forever. Um, so, you know, you cannot misrepresent facts. You cannot misrepresent information. So that's why in all honesty, if it's written, it's always good. And no matter what category of visa that you apply, whether it will be for uh, immigration or work permit or visitor visa, this profile is going to be there with them. So I think it's very, very important to just put it in all honesty and represent yourself in the truest form. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think the two important documents that would uh, support uh, anybody's visa would be payment of tuition fee. Maybe sometimes uh, university will ask you to pay uh, some deposit, um, which will be deducted uh, in future from the tuition fee or maybe the full deposit. Some students pay the full, uh, full tuition fee at once. So you should have the receipt of the payment. Uh, the second thing you need to have is GIC payment certificate. So a GIC Canadian, uh, Canadian investment that has a guaranteed rate of return for a fixed period of time. In this, the student needs to uh, invest 10,000 Canadian dollars for living, uh, living expense purposes. Uh, after which you will be getting the certificate from the bank, which will justify that you have opened a GIC account. Yeah, uh, well said. I just want to expand a little bit on that, Sakshi. The first one is tuition fees. Uh, the deposit that you were talking about is generally a reservation for uh, the seat at the particular program because it easily gets filled up and you know not all the students might get the visa. The, co the, the college does not know whether you're going to come or not. So they just take some minimum amount to reserve the seat. Um, that's for some competitive programs. But uh, for a Canadian visa, it's very, very uh, crucial to pay your complete one-year tuition fee. And that is mandatory. It's a must. There's no going back. Say, for example, if your postgraduate program costs you like 15,000 Canadian dollars, uh, you'd have to pay a complete 15,000 Canadian dollar directly to the college or the university where you're going to pursue studies. And you would get a tuition fee receipt for the payment made. And along with that, they also need to know that you have money to take care of your living expenses, obviously, isn't it? So that is why they also collect uh, a GIC certificate. In other words, it will take care of your living expenses. And these two financial documents will help the consulate officer know that you have adequate funds to take care of your education. So this is, again, equally important documents. Yeah. And um, yeah, after that, I think one other crucial document I think uh, would be important to support your financial uh, documents would be what is called a CA certificate or in simple words called as auditor certificate. Auditor certificate is a summarization of your uh, mobile property, immobile property, the cash in hand, the jewelry, the land, uh, the source of income. Everything is depicted by your chartered accountant and that document can also be uploaded on your profile, which is kind of, you know, uh, convinces the officer that you have got enough money, adequate money to take care of your education. For those who might be going on a student loan or a bank loan, I think that also could be shown in the auditor um, statement. So all these things will kind of, you know, help you out. And uh, they also need to know that you have uh, completed your education in India, right? So all the clear scanned uh, document copies required to be uploaded as well, right from 10 standard, 12 standard, up to your degree, like whatever you're done in India, the basic uh, graduation, all the documents should be scanned uh, and it should be a clear copy, like, you know, not like broken lines, like, you know, <laughs> it should be like very, very uh, clear scan copy. And it should not exceed more than 4 MB size. So that is very important. And these things are also important. So any document in support of your application to Canada, uh, be it uh, education, be it financial, be it any kind of support, or scholarship, everything have to be uploaded in this particular portal. Yeah. Does this make sense? Yeah. So after that, yeah. what else needed? What uh, I mean, else, uh, I guess 
स्कैन कॉपी ऑफ पासपोर्ट इन स्पेसिफाइड फॉर्मेट गिवन एंड देन डिजिटल फोटो डिजिटल सिग्नेचर इन जे पी ई जी फॉर्मेट आधार आई डी नंबर आई मीन वी हैव पासपोर्ट बट स्टिल दे नीड आधार आई डी एंड देन आई स्कोर कार्ड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट अ क्रेडिट कार्ड और इंटरनेशनली इनेबल्ड डेबिट कार्ड इज नीडेड टू मेक द पेमेंट दैट इज वन सिक्सटी मे बी सब्जेक्ट टू चेंज इट विल चेंज इन फ्यूचर आई डोट नो या so these things are needed yeah absolutely i think uh, yeah these are some of the basic things uh, definitely the student would have to uh, look into but uh, what is more important sakshi to also keep in mind the timeline uh, the canadian visa since it is going to be online usually the processing time is quite long as of now so it at least takes around 12 weeks so it's very very important um, that is being uh, taken care of right like you apply very well in advance right. right yeah right so thank you guys we hope this information was useful next week we are going to discuss about scholarships offered by indian government for studying abroad so see you soon next week friday at 7 pm happy uh, happy weekend bye 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 shashi thank you so many so much sakshi bye bye happy weekend guys and uh, yeah look forward to seeing you next week take care bye bye